Right. 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 Yeah, there is, and um, the reason is that you saw that one of the last slides I showed is a the symbol spondylus from a large ichthyosaur from Monte San Giorgio, and when I studied this thing. I had known before to wear this. This one here. One back. And you kind of can see it if it were a little bit dimmer. Yeah, you can't really. In this area, there's a large mass uh, of black stuff. And when you look at it more closely, you see their little hooklets. And what they are is, in the Mesozoic, there were squids that, instead of suction cups, had uh, some keratinized, or probably not keratin, but some horny substance, and they had hooks on their arms, with mm -hmm. which apparently they caught their prey. And here we are at the, uh, about 242 million years ago, only a few million years after the origin of ichthyosaurus, and we have stomach contents of these squid hooklets, and this is then something that's repeated in the Lower Jurassic English and Lower Jurassic German sites as well. So most of the time we have stomach content that really is squid hooklets. There's some, I think there's some turtle a specimen from Canada that has some, uh, some uh, late Jurassic has some turtle remains and things in there, but overwhelmingly it's squid. Direct evidence. The previous slide you showed here, the hind teeth seem like they were much more blunt, as if they were more compressive. Right. It seems unnecessary to squid. Right, right. So these were generalist feeders, these, yeah, right. Um, and there are some ichthyosaurus that seem to have been shell crackers, but no real shell cracking specialist, except maybe for omphalosaurus. But omphalosaurus is too weird anyway. <laughs> so in the uh, early and middle Triassic, we get an abundance of shell cracking marine reptiles. And ichthyosaurus participated in this to some extent, but if you have a long snout like this, then it's an absolutely clear signal for, for a fish eater. Yeah. And they, I mean, of course, if you look at what they were preserved with, as you saw on that last slide, the, the, the specimen was full of, uh, the slab was full of ammonites. So they must have somehow fed on this ammonite resource. And that's where the crushing teeth certainly would, certainly would have come in handy. But the problem is always the squid don't usually preserve at all. Only because those Mesozoic coleoids have hooklets, then we have a record at all. The modern ones, forget it. There's no record. So. Great. Thank you so much, Martin. <laughs>